My name is Doug Goff and I am the Supervisor of Men's Services at the Rescue Mission of Mahoning Valley in Youngstown, Ohio. The only way to really change a perception is to share facts. And so what I want to do today uh, is just take a couple minutes and just share the facts. The thing that is happening at the Rescue Mission of Mahoning Valley is nothing short of miraculous. Um, there is legitimate transformation of people's lives from the inside out. Uh, it is a Christ-centered outreach of love and compassion. We love everybody. Here's the fact. Our entire team, our, from, from our board of directors, our board of trustees, our executive director, every single person in this organization isn't here because it's a job. We do this because it's a calling. Um, it, is, it is 10 below zero out there right now, and I can promise you that our hands are full, but more importantly than our hands being full, our hearts are full. Our hearts are full because this is a calling, this isn't a job. We love every person that comes to this place because we believe that every person that walks up to our door was sent here by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are an emergency shelter, but we're an emergency shelter with rules. The perception is, is that this is just a soup kitchen or it's just a flop house and it's just a place for us to house a bunch of drug addicts and alcoholics and we just, uh, you sleep here, you come in no matter what your condition is and we kick you out in the morning and you, you just uh, you repeat that cycle day in and day out. And I'm here to tell you that that's not the truth. We love people, we love helping people, we love the Lord Jesus and what he's done in our lives and we want to share that. This is a gospel rescue mission. We want to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ with every person that comes in the door. We aren't foolish or naive enough to think that every person that walks in the door of the rescue mission of Mahoning Valley is going to accept the love of Jesus Christ. But I can promise you this, that every single person in this organization wants every person that walks in the door of the rescue mission of Mahoning Valley to experience the love of Jesus Christ in a practical way. It's, it's not easy. We say this all the time, Lynn and I, who is, who's filming this video and, and our entire team, we say this every day, that we get our heart broken every day. But the flip side of that is that we see a miracle every day. And what's happening here is lives are being transformed. People's hearts are being changed. People's lives are changing from the inside out. The goal of this thing is so that people that come here can transition into a sustainable change in their lives to sustainability, that they can go from being a client in the emergency homeless shelter to a vital, vibrant member of the community. They go from being a client here to being a volunteer and a donor. And only God does that. We have rules. The, the, the biggest rules where, where, that people don't understand is that there's no drinking and no drug use allowed at the mission. And, and here's some facts to back up that what God is doing here is working, is last night, at the rescue mission in my department there was 96 men in the last 72 hours of those now no, of those 96 28 men are in a one-year education driven discipleship academy and out of that and in that discipleship academy these guys are gonna do over the course of a year it's a commitment they're gonna do 29 different courses they're gonna have to get their GEDs the 29 courses total 642 educational hours, plus service to others, plus working around the ministry, working around the mission, doing all the various chores, doing all the laundry, doing serving all the meals along the side of our volunteers. There's, a, there's an internship, and there's a chance for these guys, if they choose, to get an online degree, associate's degree from San Diego Christian College. Out of these other guys, when you come into the mission, here's one of the things that happen. We want you to catch your breath. We just don't expect you to, to, just, to just jump out the very first day and go uh, pound in the pavement and get a job. However, we have programs that, that people fit into. If you come into the mission, you have a, several days to kind of catch your breath and, ju and just grab a hold of kind of the rhythm of what God is doing here. We meet all your needs. We meet. We serve. We serve three meals a day, not only to our clients, but to the general public as well. We're able and capable to able-bodied and capable to get a job, 
you will be in what's called a job tracking program. And what we will do is we, you are required in the first seven days that you're in the job tracking program that you have to go to, we give you the layout, we give you the plan, the plan of success to follow that people are following that are actually getting jobs. There is agencies that we are partnered with in this community, different temp services and different employment agencies that know that our people are coming, that know that our people are clean, they can pass drug screens, um, and these this is the first step to employment is that they have they're required to go to these places and 23 gentlemen as of right now current time are in the job tracking program we provide them with the bus passes we give them a packet of information that tells them where they're expected to go and what they're expected to do to do um, to get to gain employment um, and, and we and we hold them accountable see the difference that of the fact of the matter is is that we're holding people accountable and it's difficult it's challenging but the, the, the thing is that's amazing is the higher as a team the higher the accountability piece goes the higher the population is gone it's completely countercultural. people don't understand it but it's a fact a lot of our clients have never even had a bank account in their entire life and uh, so this is a, this is a, a big step for people when they start seeing how fast their savings can build up they still have money in their pocket we still come up with a budget for them to pay their bills to pay their legal fines to pay their child support so that they can re-engage possibly with their families and with their children that because of their choices they've been estranged from. We don't care how long that takes. If that process of, of paying your legal fines, making sure that your child support is paid, it's a huge thing. Um, legal fines are, are paid so that, so that you don't have any of those things hanging over your head. When you have a little bit of money in the bank, the first thing that happens, if, if you have one hiccup in your life, you're not right back at the mission. You're able to, you're able to, to handle a couple challenges and a couple of the storms that we all go through. The other balance of the clients that were here last night, some of these people just came in in the last few days because it is so brutal cold outside. So they're gonna be able to just take a breath. It's not just charity. People just, most people aren't looking for that. Most people are just looking to, to have some restoration in their lives. So here's a fact. Right now today, as I'm filming this video with my friend Lynn Wyatt, there is a guy and I, I have permission to use his name. There's a guy named Shane White that came into the mission two years ago. And, and it's been a long process for him. He, he came in and he was actually dismissed for not adhering to the drug and alcohol, alcohol policy. And he, he, I dismissed him and it was hard. Anytime that happens, whether it's for one night or for one week or for for one year if somebody is asked to leave the mission every single time it breaks our heart but here's the th here's the thing we believe in another chance happens back to Shane Shane came back I told him please buddy if you really want to get it together if you want to keep doing what you're doing and you keep wanting to doing the doing the drinking and doing the drugging and doing the stealing and the lying and all the things that you're doing you, you can do that but you just can't do that here but if you really want help if you really want to to be a, 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 a participant in your own life come back call us and we'll do I'll do our whole team the whole resources of this ministry will be at your disposal. We will do anything to help you. Shane decided that it was a couple months later, and he called me and he said, I, I can't do this anymore. Are, is, are, does that offer still stand? And I said, yes, it does. He, he came through our internship program and was hired as a part of our staff, as a part of my staff. And uh, uh, over the course of the last year and a half, successful transformation has happened. Shane has been faithful to the savings program. He's been faithful to the budget that we set for him to pay his child support, to pay his court fines. Shane didn't have a legal driver's license for 13 years. It took some doing, but faithfully each week, stay into the plan, stay in the course. Um, he not only has his driver's license, he's, he's purchased himself an automobile. That is transformation, that is restoration. And there's hundreds of these stories. Um, 
Accountability is hard, but the fact of the matter is, in the month of December, we served over 22,000 meals. Last year, we had over 30,000 volunteer hours. Um, God is doing amazing things. Three hots and a cot, that happens at the county jail. Real life, real time, amazing transformation of people's hearts, minds, and lives is what's happening at the rescue mission of Mahoning Valley. And I can tell you one thing, let me just state maybe the most, maybe, maybe the most important fact in why I can look this camera dead in the lens and tell you that I know for a fact that this happens every day at the rescue mission of Mahoning Valley is because it happened to me.